Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be starting with Bitcoin and going through this chart very briefly, the breakout that we have seen to the upside out of the triangle and then I want to be moving on to the star of the show and that is Link. I've been asked a lot of questions about Link over the past few weeks so I thought let's just make a public YouTube video. I'll go over the position that I hold, which is a long position. I am long on link and I'll be going over some of the next resistance and support levels to be very much aware of. Uh, so I hope that you enjoy this one and let's get started with Bitcoin. I want to cover this one very quickly because uh, I want to focus primarily on link. Obviously, the triangle that we've been tracking for a very long time has broken to the upside. OK, so after breaking to the upside, a few things to be aware of here. He obviously had an important support level with touch one, two, three, and four of support. And you can see on the upper side, we had resistance one, two, three, broken, back tested, and moved to the upside. So that's a key thing to remember here. Uh, the first key thing to remember, because you're going to see this come into a lot, a lot from the low to the high, obviously bouncing off the CC, where you originally found that support of what I believe in is the E with an A, B, C, D, E symmetrical triangle there. See, your first idea was a bigger symmetrical triangle in four, and now I think it's an actual symmetrical triangle within the B. But the second important thing to remember is resistance, 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 once broken, flips into support. And if we zoom into the 15 minute chart, you can see this also well. So basically you broke resistance of the triangle, if we zoom in here, you can see it very clear. Broke resistance of the triangle, back tested that resistance and support to basically the dollar before two more impulses to the upside. As you can see, impulse secondary one and then an secondary impulse two, which now gives you a larger sideways range. So we got a, an extended sideways range going on here. Obviously, after the first impulse, you put in a mini range, impulse, mini range, impulse. Now you've got your first extension within the range. So overall, uh, pretty classic when it comes to the when it comes to resistance flipping into support secondary move to the upside as you can see the one-to-one -one extension coming in at around eleven thousand five hundred and ten dollars uh, but i want to focus now on link so that was just a quick rundown on bitcoin how the triangle played out in the end actually breaking it testing and resistance of support move to the upside uh but let's go over to link this is the start of the show today Link, 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 link. Obviously, Link is one of the best performing altcoins in the whole of the cryptocurrency space. And we're talking over the last few years. It's been absolutely crazy. Okay, crazy, crazy, crazy move to the upside. Okay, and from this, I believe that we're putting in the possibility of this WXYXZ, which is obviously a extended Elliott wave correction. I think that it channels really well. Uh, depending on whether this is still a WXY and we're putting an X in now, that's obviously, for me, very dependent on how the reaction goes off of this channel. You are coming up to channel resistance. Please be aware of that. And I want to refer you to the supports that you bounced off of first. Um, so when you're coming down of the support, I originally had the X, the Z down here and I was positioned, wanting to positioning myself. <laughs> I wanted to position myself into a long because, well, firstly, I recognize Link is, a, is one of the best performing assets in the whole of crypto. I recognized that you had seen a extended downtrend. And thirdly, I recognized you were coming into a support. We had bounced off of a key support level being the low of our channel and the weekly. Okay, once more. So this is where in the Champions live streams, I try and find a setup, give a what's known as trade of the week. So a, a, just an entry, a stop loss and a target. And this is what I identified uh in in the champions live stream at the time i had recognized that we bounced off of the weekly we we're likely to have put in a z and i was waiting for to come down to the cc once more middle of the channel cc confluence uh for the long position um so this this was shared in the champions live stream and you can see that from there if we add in i'll leave that for a second as you can just see though we obviously come down to support once twice you know a few times down at the lows uh before getting the reaction that we really wanted to see if I just add this in so you can be aware um, what it was, the entry was like and where we are sitting within right now. Uh, you can see you had the first, uh, first entry off of this. And then this is the thing that we're, you know, for me, this is swing trading. So when I'm giving this setup, this is, this is for a swing trader's perspective. Um, basically, what we are talking about is it's 
it's not a position where you can expect to straight you know you have to be able to sit underwater you know for example here i was in in red for a few days before it started to take off and now obviously formed out original entry to where we are right now it's up about 17 percent um so just so you can see a few other technical tools that we had we also had the confluence of this pitchfork which was lovely high low high in the cc coming to the one-to-one -one extension coming down to the low of that channel once more and obviously the confluence that we had here was low of that low of the pitchfork also being low of the channel also being the weekly so there was a lot a lot of support and i'll zoom in so you can see this there was a lot of reasons for this to bounce basically <laughs> and that's why when i was updating i was talking about getting filled obviously got filled on link from the long, long that i covered on the champions live stream and obviously giving the update on link still going well at this point and now that brings us to where we are now we're actually through that weekly level and uh, we can see that we're coming up to the high of this channel uh, so you can see the overall target that i had going on here was actually for a gain of about 40 percent and that was targeting the point of control. Point of control is the highest volume area within the range. So of this whole downtrend, the point of control is where the most volume was transacted. This is generally viewed as a support resistance level. Uh, just for transparency, and everybody in my group would know this, uh, I have hit take profit one on link. So what does that mean? It means that you take a percentage out of the trade and you basically pay yourself. Um, it is kind of a i get what's a good word for it, an insurance policy it's just that in trading you have to pay yourself if you just if you simply do an entry a stop loss and a take profit yeah it can work out but what, what are you going to do if for example you see this and price comes up so close to target and then goes down and stops you out obviously that's devastating so what, what you do is you take profits at key levels or key regions uh, so if you do you know if that if this was to happen for example right now you would have still made money because you would have taken a percentage of the trade you would have paid yourself and what you should do is move up the stop loss um because the invalidation has obviously now changed on the trade um so that's just something to be aware of that we have hit take profit one uh, off of the original um of the original setup that i was giving to everybody in the group and what we can see so w x y x z what's the other possibility the other possibility of me in my opinion is is that this is a w the x is either here or the x is either here it's kind of the same whether this is like a like a flat type correction nevertheless the only other possibility is w x being either of these two pivots this being a y and this putting in another x down for a, what would be the z and for me the key really 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 key is basically the channel this for me is a really nice channel resistance touch one resistance touch two um you know the potential of rejection of resistance touch three remember back to remember back to the triangle resistance touch one resistance touch two it rejected for the third touch actually broke through on the fourth touch as you know we're sitting at around eleven thousand four hundred dollars so the fourth touch you broke through but the third touch was a rejection so if we use the same theory touch one touch two we could see the fourth touch reject potentially the fourth touch rejects sorry <laughs> the third touch rejects before we break through on the fourth touch something to bear in mind that's a possibility that i'm definitely aware of hence why i take profit on my positions and if i get a retracement that is a healthy retracement then i can look to compound that back on whereas if we start falling down with increases in volume well i can look to close out the position early for example i think that it's important to approach trading with a perspective that nothing is 100 percent. there's never a hundred percent guarantee this is why you do have to pay yourself when a trade starts to move in your favor this is why you have to use stop losses um because at the end of the day anything is possible and we're just trading the highest probable trades so we're not ever saying oh this is definitely going to happen we're saying this is what i believe is going to happen off of technical analysis this is what i've come to a conclusion of using you know for example in my case different technical tools originally the channel originally the weekly obviously coming on to then the second aspect of the pitchfork which was a beautiful beautiful pitchfork um and then getting the bounce off of that buying the retracement coming back onto the low of the channel coming into the cc uh coming into like a resistance support there was for me there was confluence here enough to expect upside and now we've seen 17 percent. so <laughs> it's obviously nice but um yeah, that's what I wanted to focus on here. So what, what can we say the next important resistance is? Well, in my opinion, it's, well, it's, 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 it's this region. Again, I don't like to say what it, this exact dollar sort of thing, but really what we can say is this region that we're at. Top of the channel slash the last high. 
this is obviously our resistance region so you could potentially see something if it wants to push up that higher for another rejection potentially obviously i am long on this coin but i'm just giving a potential rejection region uh so the top of the channel slash the last high if you get through that the point of control my bigger target here um you know where i, I, I look to close my whole long position maybe uh what i would do in this example is close out of this long uh, and then give it a bit of time does it come up to this reject or do you actually go through the level and hold it as support and if that's the case then i would enter a new long position or alternatively leave a percentage running i'd want to see how we approach the level basically uh so that's a too far in the future first we need to get through these next two resistance levels um so that's my that's my opinion on link um how it's gone uh, the resistances that you're coming up to so now moving on to the important support levels the important support level for well for really simply for me it's the weekly okay so this was the original weekly uh you can't see it here because obviously it was above you but we had that important weekly support at the time when i was giving that setup on the live stream uh but now you can see that this is a uh, important weekly uh which is coming in eight nine one five eight so that for me is an important support you can see prior how this has been support support resistance resistance so that you would expect this to be support once again if we come down this low um there was also a really nice speed fan that you can see in here so this speed fan you can also see the 618 was also a support level so this is why we love fibonacci speed fans but i can i acknowledge that this is getting a little bit messy and confusing with all this in here but by the way you did also have a, a speed fan in there but if i just remove that i will take well i'm not going to take off anymore i'm going to wrap up the analysis now really uh, and just say uh, yeah, that, that was my analysis on Link. Uh, if you want those sort of real-time updates, um, you know, the setups, uh, how I'm giving them sort of thing, then this is for the Champions Group. If you want to know when I'm taking my profits, again, that's that's for the Champions Group. Or the education. If you'd like the education behind this, then obviously this is primarily contenders and champions also get that as well. So we try and educate, empower, and, um, you know, help people along in their trading journey. Um I did see a really nice comment on the psychology this morning of somebody that well, you can kind of pause and read through this if you would like. I thought this was a brilliant, brilliant post. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to end with that. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to go back to trading Bitcoin now inside of that mini range. I think we're, we're due for some impulses. And that was the analysis on Link. So I hope that you have enjoyed this. Have a brilliant day, everybody. And I'll catch you in the next analysis, which will probably be going back to Bitcoin. So thank you, everybody. Cheers and goodbye.